Well, boat ready to take off in the 2021 Toyota RAV4. Traveling from Wetaskiwin, Alberta to Fort Erie, Ontario. Gonna hopefully take some time lapse and some other footage along the way and show you the journey. Well, day one, we're setting sail here on a Thursday, I believe it is today. So I'm hoping to be getting to, well, we'll say Winnipeg. I know there's a truck stop just on the west side of Winnipeg. I'm hoping to get there tonight. So that's going to be quite a quite a, a stretch to try and get that far. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. See how much filming I do along the way. Filming takes time. So if we don't make it there, we don't make it there. But, um, you know, I'm not in any rush. So it's not a, not a big deal. I got the car all loaded up and friggin' wires and everything going every which direction. And uh, I've got the time lapse set up there on the on the dash, which I'll show a little bit later. But um, yeah, we're setting sail here. I'm sure this will probably be jumping back and forth from me doing a time lapse to talking to maybe some interesting points along the way. So we'll see how the video goes and. Hopefully you enjoy it. Kind of figures. <laughs> One time I tried to shoot a time lapse going across Canada. Not something that you could just, you know, shut it down and, and try to do again tomorrow. Right? And it's pouring rain. And I'm pretty sure that the time lapse on the camera is going to end up picking up the wipers and raindrops and focusing in and out so the time lapse may not end up being very good for the first journey of the trip i mean we hardly ever get rain in alberta so i'm not complaining i i'm happy that it's raining we're struggling with forest fires and everything this is awesome um, i mean frankly i miss the rain i came from ontario originally and uh, it just it doesn't rain here and it's not as humid here as it is in ontario so you know, the, the, the rain is a welcome sight, I'll say that, but it just figures when I when I go to, you know, do a time-lapse video, oh, across Canada time-lapse, yep, sure enough, pouring rain, like, the totes at home are pretty near full, I mean, last night, uh, they usually say, you know, 10 to 20 mils of rain, I can expect 5 to 10, if they're saying 10 to 20, you can expect 5 to 10 here, and, and that's at the most, normally they, you know, they don't, they're not very accurate with the weather. So I emptied the one, the one tote, drained that into the lawn because I fertilized the lawn yesterday. So I soaked it in with the rainwater, and then now the first tote is full again already. Second tote's half full. I suspect by the time I come back home from this trip, which will be probably about two weeks, that other tote will easily be full. I wish I had my third tote in place, but I don't. So uh, it is what it is. But yeah.
Well, if a guy didn't make it to Kenora. Waking up to this beautiful sight today on the lake. Can't complain about anything. Sitting in front of Husky the Muskie there. It's the big fish statue. Now we're gonna, I think I'm gonna shoot for Sault Ste. Marie today. Not really 100% sure on that one, but uh, you know, I'm not in any rush, so if there's any kind of uh, point of interest along the way or something, I'm probably going to stop in, check it out, that sort of thing. See if I can take some drone shots. I took some drone shots of the uh, the fish there, just for some B-roll, as they call it, which I'm not too familiar with doing, but you know, trying my hand out on this whole doing video thing, so. Anyways, join me along for the ride and uh, we'll see where the road takes us today. Jackson here, day 102 of the Cross Canada Marathon. I happen to be in Vermilion Bay, or now it's Cross Canada Ducks. Well, I did, uh, I went and said hello to the Cross Canada Jacks. Um, super cool guy. Uh, I, I donated some money to the Cancer Foundation while I was speaking with him. I didn't want to film him or anything because, you know, they just... I don't want to bother anybody, first of all, and and whatnot. But uh, you know, <clears throat> he was a really, really cool guy, um, and you know what he's doing out is outstanding. And I, you know, I was like, oh, I just wanted to shake the hand of a hero, and and he's like, oh, there's no heroes here, man. We just want to find a cure, and just so down to earth, so cool. That was so cool to meet the man. Like he he is a hero. I don't, you know, he he may not realize it yet, but. Uh, He's already raised over sixty thousand dollars for cancer research. That's it's crazy. It's either forty or sixty thousand dollars. It's a it's a high amount of money he's already raised for cancer research. So yeah, if you guys haven't uh, haven't heard about him yet or anything like that, search him up. I found him on TikTok across Canada Jacks. But uh, dude, I want to give you guys some some good advice and go check him out on, on TikTok. He's, he's doing a great thing, right? So it's, um, it's pretty cool.
Here we are on the morning of day three, driving. We're at Old Woman Bay Scenic, or so the sign says. Not Old Woman Bay Scenic Lookout. Nope, Old Woman Bay Scenic. And it's um pretty nice here. Beautiful beach. I mean, too bad it's super cold. It's only like five degrees right now. <laughs> It's, it's a chilly start to the morning. This is Lake Superior. It's uh, a little too cold to bathe in. I didn't shower last night, so I was gonna take a little dip here since there's nobody around, but it's chilly. I'd probably uh, lose sight of my genitalia if I get into this water, so we'll refrain from that. I'm gonna carry on down to the truck stop in Sault Ste. Marie and shower up there. So we're probably about a half an hour down the road from Wawa. This is a nice beach though. It, uh, it's pretty nice. Got the car parked up in there. You know, big long beach. There's plenty of room for a lot of people here. I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere, so there probably wouldn't be a lot of people here. But, uh, yeah. So, Started day three. I'm actually probably going to get the rest of my journey done today as far as my first stop is in Barrie, Ontario. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go visit with the people I need to visit with there today. Oh. Cobra chickens are flaring up down there. So I just looked up and that big rock there is hiding my car. I said, where in the devil did my car get off to? Oh, there they go. Tell you, a guy could listen to the waves coming in and the birds chirping all day long. It's just a uh, very easy on the on the soul, you know. Just kind of helps you rest and relax. Along the way last night, I ended up shutting the time lapse off outside a marathon and through White River, just because it's nighttime, you're not gonna really see anything on uh, on the time-lapse. <sighs> Note to self, there's no food available in uh, Marathon after 10 o'clock at night, so I carried on to White River. Same story there, but at least they have a gas station open. So that was good. I got two pepperonis for five bucks. That's not expensive. And uh, settled in for the night. Got up early this morning, carried on. Stopped at the Tim Hortons in Wawa. Had about 40 people in there lined up out the door and about 648 bolts in the driveway. So used the washroom and I left. <laughs> I don't have time to wait around just for a, an Earl Grey tea, so. I'll get my tea when I get to Sault Ste. Marie. But as for now, I'm gonna finish up with my energy drink and carry on down the road. It's been a great start to the morning. This is really relaxing. I'm glad I stopped at this little park here, I guess you call it. Old Woman Bay Scenic. Well, stick around for some more time-lapse.
stop to stretch my legs. Found a yogi. Searching the dumpsters. Hungry fella. Hopefully he stays over there. Yeah. 